ASP tubing connected, everything secure. For the aerial view or mapping, we're not going to use a camera for now, for the ins installation now. Uh, we're going to use a run cam for the first test flight. Okay, then I installed the, the run cam for FPV, a real time, real video downlink to the ground control station. Um, now to center of gravity, we're going to check. Uh, first, attach a prop temporary. After that, take it off again for safety. Okay, um, center of gravity, I've added to 50 gram lead in the front cone to get this um, center of gravity because the Sony camera is not inside now and that affects the center of gravity. So that's the center of gravity. Okay. Okay, let me check the battery levels. Um, this is two, four, five hundreds, nine thousands. Um, it's not fully charged for now because we're just doing the pre-flight checklist and we're going to charge it to 25.2. Um, the warning is on 22.5. We're going to do short flight just to see the characteristics of the plane in our area. And we will fly in line of sight, the first uh, flight uh, plan, mission planner. And uh, like I said, 25.2 will be the full charge. Okay, the next check is the, the battery for the Dragon Link. Uh, that will also do a full charge. It's now 7.75, so we will, we will do a full charge and we're just going through the sequence. Okay, and we we'll make sure it's fully charged already also. It's now 7.7, .7, but normally it's above 8, so we will also charge that. Make sure antenna is tight. Never press that button. Power. The light is green. Minimum throttle. Switch is all to the back. Manual. Okay. Okay, let me untake the attack, attach the clutch. Make sure when you check the CG, the prop is not in on the system. You leave it for a while. The uh, ASP center is still um, attached. Um, it was calibrated before, so it's all okay. Below 10 kilometers, it runs between 2.4 and 5. The run cam is attached. This is attached. Then it's attached. So it's going through the motions. No camera. Uh, okay, um, so we started up the system, and it looks it looks okay. Um, it's jumping a bit. I, we didn't do calibration yet, so maybe we will do a calibration of the plane. Um, it looks level, but it's a bit. When I put a level on the plane. It's not matching 100%, but uh, I don't know if it's close enough. The direction of the plane is jumping a bit because it's supposed to be parallel to the pavement and the houses. Um, that's it. Okay, tricky controls. Uh, elevator. Okay, take the ailerons. Left, right. Okay. Radar function. Right. Left. Right. Stabilization. Okay, stabilization mode. Look at the surfaces. And up, it wants to correct itself. And up, it wants to roof back. That way, that way, that way, straight again, hang up, hang down, it wants to break itself again, okay. Okay, hi guys, um, we've checked everything, um, just a few differences in the manual that I had to label, so uh, 
all flight modes are working so uh, there's the manual manual and then I say okay one switch up um, that's fly by wire B okay that's that one there going okay, back to manual and let's see we go RTL two switches away from each other RTL then it's the back switch forward and that one forward O2 O2 all working and uh, the stabilization one is one switch at the back the second one in the middle stabilize and back to manual so there's quite a few alterations in other places also in the manual so um, and links so you need to work quite thoroughly through it so um, I'm still thinking to do a calibration just going and recording the checklist okay okay unplug um, disarmed, fail safe, and then plug back in again. And all back to normal. When I unplug fail safe, or so now is, uh, I was too quick for the plug to put it back, but the plane switched to RTL, so yes, it's confirmed, so it will go to RTL. Um, and I had to just cancel it. Okay, we've hit the parachute. Um, just to test it and it all worked and we're now in the beeping mode so parachute out that's it um, from manual mode before launch um, get the plane ready um, switch to auto and in a few seconds it will spin and we throw it okay so now everything is ready to go, the covers is on, everything is closed and it's in manual mode, I've armed it, it's ready for launch, it's automatic, close and box your uncle. Okay, and the run cam is on and it's working, looks like it's very really light sensitive, um, but all system working and I've tested the thermal also a few days ago. Also working, done.